Hi everybody, this is Ann Emery with Excel for Evaluation. VLOOKUP is my all-time favorite function in Excel because it saves you so much time as you're merging data sets together. VLOOKUP in itself is a huge time-saving feature, but there's even more you can do to make your life even easier. So this video is about the VLOOKUP time saver number one, tweaking the lookup value and the column index number, which are two pieces of information that go into the VLOOKUP formula. In a previous video, I talked about when to use VLOOKUP. You use VLOOKUP when you want to combine data sets to create a new combined data set to work with. In another video, I talked about why to use VLOOKUP. You use VLOOKUP to save yourself time as you're doing all this merging. And in a previous video, I talked about how to use VLOOKUP and how to fill in the four pieces of information that go into the formula. So if you haven't watched those three videos, please take a look at those first, or else you might be a little bit lost in this one. So in the third video, I talked about how to use VLOOKUP, and we filled in this information right here. We filled in the gender for these people. Now we want to fill in the rest of the information, columns C through L. So I want to be able to drag the formulas. Here's what I mean when I say drag. So you look for this little square in the lower right-hand corner, and you just drag it across. Let's see what happens. It doesn't work. You get a lot of NAs. So I'm going to show you how to fix that using two pieces of information. So the lookup value, a3, that's just the ID number of the person. We need to put a dollar sign right before the A. Okay, so here's the tip about lookup value. Dollar sign before the A. Press enter. And let's drag this down. And let's drag it across. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're one step closer. That filled in the gender for everybody, but that's not exactly what we want to do. We want to fill in the program start date, the days that they were in the program, the ethnicity, etc. So that's where we need to tweak one more thing. We need to tweak the column index number. Column index number just means which column in your table is the data coming from. So let's take a look at our demographic data. It's in a separate file named dataset1 demographics. Oops. We have the gender in column B or the second column. Program start date is in the third column. The days that they were in the program is in the fourth column. The ethnicity is in the fifth column. So it just goes in order, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Let's go back to our combined data set. And we're just going to tweak this. So instead of two, two is the gender column. Let's just type in a three. Drag this down. Perfect, we have the program start date. We just need to change the number format. So go up to here where it says number. And on the drop down menu, let's select a short date. So now it's in the date format. The number of days that they spent in the program. It's not column two. We need that to pull from column four in our other table. Copy this down. Perfect. Ethnicity was in column five, so type in five. And again, just drag your formula down to fill in the rest of the cells. Race was in the sixth column. So type in six and press enter. Drag your formula down. And you can see how this is pretty quick as you work across. Way easier than copying and pasting. And way easier just to tweak a few pieces of the formula than to type all this in again by hand. So I won't fill in the full thing, uh, but I'm going to just show you one more piece of information you need to know about VLOOKUP. So the NAs mean that that person was missing data altogether. There was no information for ID two, uh, 1124285 in our other spreadsheet. But take a look at this. We have a zero. So this means that person 1128708 they had almost all of their information, but we don't have information about which city or county they live in. So it gave us a zero. So later I'll go through and I'll delete all of those zeros and NAs just to have a cleaner data set to work with. So there you go. That's time saver number one, tweaking the lookup value and column index number so that you can fill in your data and your combined data set even easier. Thank you very much.